Good evening, fellas. Uh, what I'm going to be doing tonight is I'm going to be verifying the amperage uh, production of the Cromry in the eight coil configuration with three magnetic stacks. There's been some uh, discussion whether or not the ammeter that I'm using is um, accurate and if the output that I'm getting is accurate. So I'm going to hopefully do these tests so that everybody can see exactly what I'm doing. What I have here is a DC analog ammeter as well as a um, power supply uh, 0 to 30 volt 3 amp uh, maximum that I've set for um, ostensibly close to 32 volts at 0.75 amps. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is just verify the DC ammeter is reading um, what the uh, power supply is so that you can verify that the DC amp meter is correct. Um, in two leads of the amp meter place across the leads of the analog and you can see a verified 0.74 amps on the power supply to about 0.75 on the DC analog amp meter. Okay, so that is a verification of the functioning of the analog amp meter corroborates with the uh, power supply. The next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking um, a couple strands from a 26 gauge hookup wire um, and I'm using that as a lead to show the effect of what 32 volts at 0.75 amps does to one of these tiny little um, strands, uh, one of the strands from this uh, 26 gauge multi wire. And this is what it looks like when you peel off the the insulation, just one of these little fine wires. I don't even know what the gauge is, but it's smaller than 30 gauge, let's put it that way. And I'm going to hook it up to the power supply and I'm going to basically short it out against itself. And what I have noticed um, when I do it with just 32 volts, normally this uh, basically arc welds itself shut or at least tack welds itself. Um, and uh, I'll show you that in a second. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be taking one of the one of the uh, strands. Okay, it's on the positive lead. Take one of the strands for the negative lead. From the power supply. Fine, doesn't even want to hold it. Okay. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to arc it right here. And you can see a verified 0.75 amps, and it's essentially tacking it. And now it's actually fused it. So you can see that just 0.75 amps at 32 volts has a tendency to make this arc weld together, 0.75 amps, and I can verify this. I can place it across the DC amp meter and see if it'll register it. I don't know if it will or not. Yep, 0.75 amps, but it's tacking to the contacts and sparking as well. Okay, so that's a verification of the thickness of the wire that I'm using for the purpose of the experiment tonight, experimentation tonight with the Cromery. Okay, the next thing I'm going to show, what I'm basically going to be doing is measuring the voltage off the Cromery as well as measuring the amp current. Now I have the capacitor which is um, essentially a 560 uh, microfarad um, 400 volt capacitor, pardon me, 350 volt capacitor that's hooked up to the digital multimeter right now set at um, 1000 volts. It's a triplet 9005A multimeter. Um, the capacitor is discharged, the cromery is off, the amp meter is not hooked up to anything. I have essentially the leads off the, the bridge rectifier with again the thin gauge wires here that I'm going to be utilizing to charge the capacitor hopefully um, just through this one little lead so we can watch um, how fast it charges with this and it may arc out because this um, from the wind from the cromery sometimes it makes a bit of a uh, makes a bit of a, a wind so it sometimes can dislodge these wires so if it arcs out I apologize and then I'm going to also be verifying the, um, the amp flow from that as well so in essence um, what we'll be doing next uh, with this experiment is just to show what the amp meter is doing and what the, uh, the what it's charging at and it's going to be charging only through that thin gauge wire and again you can see here uh, that the chrome rate itself all I have is DC bridge rectifier coming off the brushes, the quad arms, and uh, this is the setup for it. So we'll be playing with the light bulb in just a few minutes.